Buffalo Public Schools ended their survey asking parents to drive their kids to school and then get a reimbursement for gas. But that's just one thing local districts are looking to do to get kids to and from school safely this year. 7 News reporter Olivia Proya has her eye on education tonight. Dozens of big yellow buses lined up waiting for kids to climb aboard. But one month before the start of the school year, there's a problem. There aren't enough bus drivers to handle all the routes. Bus drivers and support staff, that is definitely in dire need. We're looking for bus drivers. We're looking for bus aides. For some, the issue isn't so bad. I know that our bus contractor, Fisher Bus, is continuing to hire drivers. Um, I think we're still a couple of short. But for others... We need 80 bus drivers. We believe on any given day we'll have 40. This has superintendents across western New York making a plea to the public. And we're asking that if you are interested or know anyone that's interested in becoming a bus driver, to please contact our transportation company. Grand Island Central School District even getting creative with their recruitment techniques. We had a um, event recently in which we had come out to the parking lots of our schools and practice driving the buses for our community members. So many community members did participate in that and hopefully that will help us accrue a couple additional drivers for the upcoming year. The Niagara Falls superintendent making the decision to bump the high school start time 25 minutes. With 40 drivers we can drive the middle school and high school kids, have them drop them off at the middle schools and high school and then turn around and go to a neighborhood close to their drop off to pick up their elementary, the elementary students and get them to school by 845. It was the only way we could do this and account for having only 40 to 45 bus drivers. Buffalo Public Schools have asked parents in a survey if they'd be willing to opt out of bus transportation and get reimbursed for their mileage of driving their kid to school. We asked for the results of that survey, but did not hear back. Olivia Proya, 7 News.